Sounds good. Thank you very much, Brad. Imagine battling a fire in this weather, and that is what some area firefighters were faced with. News 9's Jake Sentholz is joining us live in Cronenwetter. He has a look at how firefighters protect their own lives while rescuing others. Jake. Well, that's right, Brad, Melissa. Earlier this afternoon, large flames could be seen shooting out of both sides of this house. And as you can probably see, the roof is nearly gone. It was a team effort as flames engulfed parts of this Cronenwetter home. With everyone involved, from first responders to emergency management and WPS, they were able to contain the flames and limit the damage. But big flames and black smoke was far from the only thing they were battling. Whether it be a hot day like today at 80, 90 degrees, or 20 below zero, the firefighters, when they're inside working hard with the 100 pounds of gear that they're wearing, they're sweating and they need to rehydrate because that's what takes us down. And while priority number one with any fire is to put it out and make sure everyone inside got out safely, the health of the firefighters themselves is something that cannot be overlooked. Oh, without the Salvation Army, we'd be dead. Seriously. In addition to food and water, the Salvation Army supplies, which are often donated by people or businesses in the area, the firefighters need to have the ability to take breaks. On a day like today, about 10 minutes is about all they've got without refreshing themselves. So it's really important that we keep their hydration up, get them some water to drink, give them breaks. That's the reason I called so many in, so many departments in, was so that we could just keep rotating people in and out. A large number of firefighters who responded are volunteers, which people say is one of the things that makes our area and the people who do this job so special. Now, officials say the fire started on the back of the home, but the cause is still under investigation. Uh, we do know, though, that nobody inside was hurt. Live in Cronenwetter, Jake Senholz, News 9, WAW. Thank you, Jake. And new tonight at 